A couple of weeks ago, we visited the Barnsdale in Rutland for afternoon tea. It was served in the Rod Room, previously known as the Garden Room, which is a conservatory type area overlooking the courtyard. Before booking, we did check whether they could do a kids' afternoon tea or a smaller portion, which they do. Uh, you just need to let them know when you're booking. Elliot was delighted with his tea, as his had jam sandwiches and cheese ones. Uh, for the adults, the sandwiches were traditional ham and mustard, egg mayonnaise, cheese and pickle and salmon, and the fillings were really generous and delicious. The scones were lovely, if a little crumbly, but they were served with a good portion of clotted cream and strawberry jam. The sweet treats were a little hit and miss. We adored the macarons. Elliot declared the raspberry ones legendary. Uh, there was a bit of a stodgy and bland tasting cake, which we think was a pear something or other. Um, none of us truly enjoyed that one, but the carrot cake was lovely and the mini donuts were gorgeous. On the kids' tea, Elliot also loved the chocolate brownie. He wasn't so keen on the lemon cake. Uh, it would have been nice to have seen a donut on his, as I think he'd have loved that. We managed to eat all of it, so a good fair size afternoon tea for us. No doggy bag required this time. Service was attentive and friendly, but when we requested a fresh pot of tea, on both occasions it was a top-up of the previous pot, We'd have been happy to have paid for a second pot, so they missed a trick here, really. Elliot had a J2O, as that's all I could think of off the top of my head for him. It would have been nice to have seen uh, or been offered a bar menu or other drinks from the bar, as I'd happily have ordered a glass of fizz or a cocktail as an extra. Overall, we enjoyed our afternoon tea at the Barnsdale. It's a very relaxing atmosphere, uh, very pleasant indeed. Uh, but perhaps not our first choice for afternoon tea next time, but we would happily visit again.